Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. We've been going a little crazy recently. We've been doing a ton of no evidence challenges. In particular, we've done some no evidence all maps challenges, which obviously includes the big maps as well, which just left my mind a little broken. So I wanted to take a break today by instead of doing no evidence, we're gonna just do insanity mode, which might even be harder than no evidence, because uh, it's basically a no evidence challenge, but it is a really fun way to play. I especially like that it's an official challenge, uh, which, I mean, this one is significant. It's significantly harder than nightmare mode. So let's see if we can do it. We're gonna be doing it on every single map, including the big maps. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. I hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, we got Judy Nelson, so we are starting on Willow Street House this time. Usually I start these challenges on, um, oh god, it's foggy, on Tanglewood, but I thought we'd spice it up. Now, if you don't know Insanity Mode, what does it change? It obviously, it's kind of like, it's, it has a lot of Nightmare Mode features, such as the broken screens. Uh, there will not be a breaker on the map, so you can't see that. The breaker will start off by default. And uh, on top of that, there's a few other changes. There is, you start with 75% sanity, which is a huge change. It means that some ghosts can literally hunt you as soon as you step into the map, which means that if I step into here and there was a demon in this room, I could basically immediately die, which would be <laughs> amazing. Um, now, besides that, there's only one evidence, only one evidence. So, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, there's a ghost. That was a huge throw, excuse me. Huge throw, throw. Um, there's only one evidence, which is uh, gonna make this kind of feel a little si like we're still gonna be using a lot of no evidence strategies, which I really love. I love no evidence, but I wanted to <laughs> at least have a little bit more to go off of than a full no evidence challenge. Especially on the big maps, it can help a lot to kind of narrow it down a slight bit. But oh boy, yeah, we're doing all maps, so including Sunny Meadows. Uh, which is gonna be a disaster. Now, it's near, not nearly as hard as the, um, the weekly challenge, uh, the Apocalypse Weekly Challenge, which has definitely been the hardest one by far. Uh, I, I wonder how many people completed it. How many people completed the <laughs> Apocalypse Weekly? I'm assuming it's like a fraction of the amount of people that normally complete it. Like, people must have seen the challenge and been like, what the fuck is this? I don't want to do this. <laughs> this seems insane. Okay, there's no orbs. If the ghost is here, there's no orbs, which, uh, mimic orbs don't count as an evidence. Remember that? Uh, where are you? Oh, where was that? Is it on the table? Or was it in here? This is a little sneaky. I think it was back here, actually. There it is, EMF3. Okay, so it might be in the hallway. Let's just grab a thermo. Willow can be such a tricky map because you'll be walking to the door. Oh, Jesus. What the? That's creepy. You'll be walking to the door and then it'll close in your face during a hunt and then you're stuck in the living room. Anyway, uh, it's not Lisa, it's Judy, but it is Lisa model. Uh, we're just going to grab everything. Now, our sanity should already be at like 65. That, that ghost event shouldn't have dropped my sanity because I didn't walk into the ghost, so we should still be fine. You brought your boyfriend and you completed it and it was surprisingly really fun. I mean, it kind of depends on which ghost you get as well, right? Like, that's the thing with these. That's why I like night or, or insanity mode so much because it doesn't really depend too much on what ghost you get. Like, if it's a Gorio, usually during no evidence, a Gorio is a fucking nightmare. Um, but when you're playing uh, insanity mode, it's not because you can just get the Gorio dot. So it really, it really helps with those particular... Uh, tricky ghosts that are really, really frustrating on, uh, like a full no evidence run. Also, what is this? Oh. What the fuck? What did you just touch? Uh, oh. Run, run, run. Is it this door? It was not this door. It sounded like this door? Wait. Excuse me! Was it this? Was it then the... Oh, this door. Huh. Let me see. Any fingerprints? Doesn't seem like it. I think they show up around the handle now. Now the ghost could start hunting any moment. I think it is in this room. It just doesn't really show on the on the thermo. Remember, the ghosts have also a lot more roaming 
on insanity mode, which roaming is it's a bit tricky to understand how it works. You'll get a feel for it the more you play, but um, the lower your sanity, the more the ghost will roam, basically. That's that's like the, the gist of it, uh, which can lead to some really tricky situations. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Did I even check orbs in this room? Imagine it's just orbs. Easiest game of my life. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Now, it could be a mimic, but at least we got... Wait, was that here? Oh, it was this door. It was this door. Okay, but at least that's gonna help a lot. I think the photo for the... F the doors are at the handle, right? Yeah. Okay, so... It's either these ghosts, or it's a mimic, but that'll be easy to figure out. So we got one, two, three, four fast ghosts. And we got the Banshee, which is not going to be as tricky because we already know we're supposed to be looking for them. I think that's why I like Insanity Mode so much, because it gives you the satisfaction of doing like a hard puzzle, like a hard no evidence puzzle. But um, you get a little bit of, you get like a little hint. You get a little hint to, to get you going so you're not like completely shooting in the dark. Um, all right, so we're going to grab a, a Paramic for the Banshee. Uh, it's not a Hantu, because it's not... Uh, freezing. Hantu won't show orbs. It will always show freezing, so that's nice. Um, let's see. They can be it. So it won't be an Obake either because no fingerprints, so that's also nice. Uh, there's... Which ghost can you rule out this way? Hantu will always have freezing. Obake will always have fingerprints. Diogen and Moroi will always have spirit box. And I guess the Mimic will always have orbs. Well, um, okay. What do we have to do? Smudge stick and repel the ghost with the smudge stick. Uh, we could grab the... Let's just grab the Unreal thing first. Before we set this up. Oreo is always dots. Yes, as well. Did I not say that? Sorry, I forgot that one. Oreo is always dots. Set this up. And then grab the candle, I think, for me. Yes. Alright, that's the Unreal test. I need to run. Don't kill me. Did you turn off the breaker? I just didn't turn on the light. Uh, let's see. So then, for any other ghost, what do we gotta do? So the Unreal we've just set up. Revenant will be obvious. Raichu will be obvious. They will be obvious. Yokai. Mare's gonna be a little tricky, and Banshee's gonna be a little tricky, but the rest will be fine. LS, thank you for the 15. Uh, let's grab a smudge stick. Grab smudge stick, new photo cam, and then I'm also gonna grab this for some extra photos. You tried no evidence runs, but you don't know how to distinguish the not so obvious ones. Yeah, it's it's tough. Like a lot of people playing no evidence, like go for the obvious ones and then just like like leave. It oh god! What the fuck? Oh, it's a revenant. <laughs> so in this case, it will be a very obvious one. Oh boy! You want to hear revenant top speed? I shouldn't do it here. Okay. No. Hello? No, don't go down. I wanted to show the top speed. I need to smudge you as well. Wait, is it, are you already done? Where did it hunt it from, by the way? I've been getting so trolled lately. Like, it's one of those things you... I don't think about too much, but when you start playing, like... The ghost, especially on harder difficulties, has been hunting out of the ghost room so much lately for me. Like, it, it, it can happen, because the ghost... Where the ghosts hunt from is not related to, to the ghost room at all. I mean, it is, like, indirectly related in the same way that, like, the, the ground gets... I, I don't know what it was. Anyway. Um, it's... Oh my god. Was it television? Um, the the ghost room is where the ghost will usually be, which is why it always hunts from the ghost room. At least that's what you think. But the ghost will just hunt from wherever it is, which means that um, if it is not, oh, it just touched this. It's just what the fuck is this double interactions? Excuse me, is it a twin now? Um, it's like do it. It did a double te television. It did a double this. You're being weird. Um, 
I, I'm just trying to get the smudge stick over here so we can get the... Oh, we need to capture photo of the ghost. I'm just gonna smudge you. Wait, are you even here? There you are. All right, I'm getting a uh, hell out of here because I don't want to get killed by this revenant. Unless it is a very tricky mimic revenant. But anyway, um, the ghost will just hunt from wherever it is, which means uh, if you have, or if you're playing on a higher difficulty where the ghosts roam a lot more, you're gonna get caught off guard by the ghost roaming from an area you don't expect it from. Now, this would be the smartest mimic of all time. Shada, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Unless it actually went from Rev to Twin, which would be very interesting. I, I doubt it. Oh, there you go. It was just a Rev and a 300, and it wasn't even a, like, I barely did any, any objectives there. Shows you how much money you can get on this. Uh, 34 interactions. It didn't do any abilities, obviously. Um, let's go. That was a good one. Easy peasy. So that's the first one. Uh, let's go to... So there's a lot of hard maps. I think the campsites are going to be the hardest here. But the other big maps as well. Let's do Grafton. Let's spice it up. Usually we, we do all the simple small maps first. Now let's do some trickier small maps. I mean, Grafton is actually way... I know some people don't like the big map or the, the farmhouse maps. I love them. Especially Grafton is such a nice um, map for having very few hiding spots. Because there's so many great hiding spots on uh, on Grafton. I think that dead will always be available. That's a legitimate. Thank you for the five gift subs. One thing that I do kind of find annoying about Grafton is that the, the breaker positions are so far apart. You have to go all around the map just to see where the hell the breaker is. The lighting is super messed up in the farmhouses. You mean the sanity drain prevention or... Because I don't... What, what's wrong with the lighting? The lighting is totally fine. I know some of the lights don't prevent sanity. Like, look at this. Hi there. That is my sanity bye-bye. And it's also not an Oni. And it's probably also not a shade. Noni. Uh, I've been... Getting a lot of notifications for Reddit recently. I just, I don't know what Reddit does, how, how it does it, but it's very good at figuring out what I want to read. So it'll like uh, suggest me posts that are like, oh yeah, I, I do want to see that, <laughs> even though I don't ever use Reddit. <laughs> um, and I see this, I don't know if this is a thing with Reddit, uh, with the Phasmophobia Reddit, but it seems like people have a lot of bullshit ideas <laughs> like people don't really understand the game all too well um one of which i see coming back over and over and over again is uh, there was this post of someone showing like uh, a two minute snippet of their game where the ghost did like seven ghost events back to back to back to back to back and the comments were like it was an oni right and then the comment below that was like or a shade at zero zero sanity and i was like what's this like what's this focus because i've seen that before and i've seen it i've heard it in my streams as well people saying that what is this like thing people have that they think that a shade at zero evidence is more active than a normal ghost it's not at all the case a shade at zero zero did i say zero evidence i meant zero sanity it's just a normal ghost it like so at 100 percent sanity the shade doesn't do anything like it can do a ghost event physically uh, and then between 150, it's a scale. And the closer, like at 75, it'll do 50% of a normal ghost. And at 50% uh, sanity, it'll do the exact same as a normal ghost. But it doesn't keep going. The lower it goes below 50, it doesn't go up to 200%. It's just, it's, it's, it just becomes a normal ghost. So I don't know why, why people seem to think that the Thay, or not the Thay, that the sh shade is like a reverse Thay. Or something. I don't really understand. Like I don't know where that where that idea is coming from. Because it's it's never been told by anyone I know. Also Uh I don't know if they're I mean they must be watching at some point. Let me let me focus on the game for a sec because I need to not die. Are you even here? You are here. Okay, I need to get a uh, grab a candle. This, this, this ghost already did a ghost event. Remember, every ghost event will drop your sanity by 10%, which means that that one ghost event brought me from 75 
to 65 immediately, so I'm probably like 55 right now, so the hunt is literally around the corner. Okay, I already got a smudge stick in there, already got a crucifix in there. I think I'm grabbing another one, and then two candles to set up a big on Rio area in the, um, in the, uh, in the living room. Lyra, thank you for the eight months. Get bodied by an Onryo. I have never had trouble with Onryo. I I was watching uh, or I checked out uh, Psycho did a video recently where he did the same thing that I did where you do like a lot of no evidence runs. And the only run he failed, I think, was an Onryo. I don't know how people... Like, it seems like people struggle with Onryos. Onryos are like my... I love Onryos. The one thing that's annoying, I often get baited by ghosts acting like on rios i'll always i usually will get an on rio what happens to me sometimes is that a ghost will just like i'm at zero sanity and all of and then i put candles on top of the crucifixes and all of a sudden the ghost doesn't hunt for like five minutes so i'm like all right and it just keeps blowing out the candle so i'm like all right must be an on rio and then it ends up being a yure or some bullshit. like that's why yeah unless it's a chapel on rio that's true oh god another one Run away, I do not want to lose more sanity. If you don't get touched by this, you don't actually lose sanity. Very important. Go away. Get the fuck out of here. That's two airball ghost events. Okay, we haven't gotten anything. Oh. It's normal speed. This is fucked. Why did you hunt from there? You suck. Wait, it's a gin. Is it? Is it a haunted? What the fuck? Let me just- oh god, it's following me. I'm dying! I'm gonna die! I think it saw me. Oh no, it didn't. Alright, Jesus Christ. What's that then? It, I thought it sped up for a second there. That was weird. Um, we'll have to- we'll have to figure this out. Uh, we'll have to do some more... Investigating. We also did two objectives already. That's nice though. Um... Well, let's see. I smudged it just now at like 19.30 or something on the timer. Uh, it did not hunt from this room, which is annoying. I'm gonna grab another smudge. You can take pills to then see what the sanity was. So you can't see on the sanity chart. If I were to take pills now, the game will prevent you from taking pills once you reach 95% or higher uh, to prevent people from trolling and just eating all the pills at the start of a game. Um, so... If you take two pills and then you can't take the third one, you know that your sanity was between 45 and 50, which means it might have been an early hunter. I mean, if you can only take one pill, you know immediately it's like a thay or a demon or something, but that will very rarely happen. Um, so that's something important to keep in mind. I'm going to grab this. I'm grabbing another one of this. I need to find this ghost. Is it hunted from this room now? But that might have been... No, the ghost event shouldn't have moved. Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> Holy fuck. Alright then. Alright then. Holy shit. Let's see. Is the ghost here? It could already hunt right now. Yeah, it's in this room. It said fuck. Move, move, move. Move the Grizzlyx. Go, 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 go. Oh, Gorio. Oh, yeah, if it moves Ghost Room, we can rule out Gorio. Not that it really matters. We just want one evidence. Are you kidding me? It is faster. For sure there's something weird going on. You heard how it immediately was faster? Like, it does speed up. It's something, some shenanigans. Oh, there's a mannequin. It's like a, like a gin. Something is it like faster all the time? Maybe it is faster all the time. I need to do a hunt where I don't get spotted by the ghost. It's definitely not a sh spirit. Oh, blowing out candles. I don't think it's an on Rio. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Let's get rid of the. I want to be out of the ghost room. It also kind of sounds quiet. Moroi, maybe. I mean, I could take pills. Um. It just sounds like as soon as it sees me, it sped, speeds up. Let's try this. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? If it's a Moro, it should give me spear box. Did I? I already looked for orbs, but maybe I'm stupid. Been it's 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 been known to happen. Oh! Breaking the lights or what now? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why I knew that was gonna break the lights. It's just some- there was- there's something in the ghost events that makes me recognize when a light gets exploded and when not, but I don't really know- like, I know it subconsciously, I don't know it. Like, I can't explain it. <laughs> I think it's because when the ghost does a ghost event, like, that doesn't explode the lights, it, um... It, like, always touches a door or, like, a light switch. Oh, it's hunting. It's normal speed. Come on. Hello? You see that? It's a fucking gin! There's a boner there. It's a gin, right? I mean, I guess we should test it with the breaker off. It's such a gin. Why are people saying it's not a gin? It's such a gin. So do you hear, hear it speed up, like, out of nowhere? What is gin evidence? It's probably fingerprints or some bullshit. Um, I think it's a gin. Like, as soon as it saw me, it went, like, sicko mode. I'm quickly grabbing this bone and I'm fuck out of here. Um, I could turn off the breaker, like I could get another hunt with the breaker off, but I don't think there can't be any other. Go oh, just through this, give me a photo, give me some money. I don't think there is anything that can do that. Uh, so yeah, it, it was feeling like it the whole time, but it w did also speed up beyond that. Obviously, I got the ghost photo and everything. Look at that, beautiful. Um, it threw this at me. Found some remains. I don't know. Some of the weekly challenges, by the way, are so fucked. It was just yeah, okay. Five hundred. Holy shit. Uh, nice. Easy t eleven minute hunt. Uh, what are my weekly challenges? This I think you can check it over here, right? Play with another investigator. Find the bone. Uh, complete objectives in Willow Street House. Okay, these are fine. But there's like, there's like uh, some objectives that are like, take, do 50 perfect games or some bullshit in like one week. Like I, some of those are, are completely insane. Uh, let's do our first big map. Let's do high school. Oh, high school. I like high school. Gonna be, we're probably gonna get hunted before we even find the ghost room. <laughs> We got Anthony Brooks. It's foggy, but that's fine. Uh, I'm definitely gonna start with this guy, and then I'll grab... I don't really think anything else ha helps. Do we need a ghost photo? I don't need a ghost photo, then I'm not gonna take this. I'll just grab this. Grab the thermal. Um, Power Prince, thank you for the 13. Um, yeah, the EMF could also work well. RF, thank you for the 17. There's not going to be a cursed possession, not that we really need it. But as I was saying earlier, when I've been looking more on Reddit, also there was someone who was going, it was amazing, <laughs> in like a totally relatable way. They went absolutely crazy about twin interactions on the Reddit. They were like, this doesn't make any sense. Because they, because they, what happened was that they had a, um, they had a, uh, I don't forgot what ghost it was, but it was some not twin who did the like twin interaction on the graph where you have like a line going up where the slope changes where like two interactions happen so close together that it it changes slope without plateauing uh, and they were like what is, what's going on? I just got this and it wasn't a twin and then like normal post I, uh, everyone was like, yeah, it might, might be bugged, might be weird. But then they did a follow-up post, which was uh, very funny in a relatable way, 
where they went far too deep on this like random event that happened to them and they tried to oh, is it over there they tried to like figure out uh, sorry i'm distracted yeah i think it's over here in this room Is it they? Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> you hear this? Run! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> dude, I love Thay. Thay's on insanity mode are so fun. Because they're like one of those ghosts that can just like instantly kill you. Hey, Mary, thank you for the sub. But as I was saying, they did a follow-up post on the Reddit that was like, I just... How to interactions actually work. Which was like this... They, they posted this graph that I had never seen before. Which was a graph that was like a triple slope change where it did three interactions so close together that it was like a triple interaction. It was something that I'd never seen before. Hey, Raiders, welcome. Um, but then they made up some... Th or not made up. They just like... They confirmation bias themselves into a theory that was... Uh, I'm gonna die here, by the way, if the ghost hunts well, before I leave. Run, 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 run. They did a bunch of testing with ghosts that weren't twins and ghosts that were twins, and they had some kind of theory that if the slope changes from steep to, to not steep, or from not steep to steep, like, a twin will always change their slope from steep to not steep, but a non-twin will change their slope from not steep to steep. It was like, they just made up this wild theory that they had like, uh, found out by testing. They, 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 they went a little, they went a little deep. They went a little for, too deep. And it was just really funny to see that. Like, <laughs> I could totally, like, I've done that before where we went like completely crazy on some kind of mechanic, especially back in the day, dude. That ha would happen all the way, all the time back in the day when they were so s annoying with the patch notes where every Welcome patch back. note was just like, we did some changes to the demon, go find out. And it was super annoying. And then we'd have to do like lots and lots and lots of testing to figure out what the fuck was going on. Um, like what they actually changed. Now, finally, they are like mysterious at first. And then they like after a week, they are like, just just here's here's what set, what we actually did i think this is like the best change uh in terms of patch notes they've ever made because oh boy was it annoying um and it lead, led to a lot of situations like that guy on reddit where we thought we'd figure out a theory but then it wasn't actually true it was just random coincidences um so yeah this game is it's like no other game is this game like a wiki baiter? It's like, it's like Welcome to the Game 2 where there's... Whenever I am like replaying Welcome to the Game 2, I have to like look at my, like I have to unearth my own documents, like my own notes, or I, or I know which people to ask. Like I know the people that are actually like uh, experts at the game and I know how to quickly ask, hey, I forgot this, how does this work again? And then they'll just tell me. But it's one of those games where if you look online, you'll get the most insane bullshit. Like, it'll, they'll just make up shit. Like, there are so many guides on Welcome to the Game 2 that are just completely nonsensical, that are just, like, made-up nonsense. Uh, and especially early, Phasmo had that all, like, it was, it was like that. CJ! Egg! <laughs> How are you doing? Dude, the EMF looks insane. The new EMF looks crazy. What have you done? Looks very cool. How are you doing today? Why was I in the chat? What did I miss? Uh, why, why were you in the chat? You've always been in the chat. Hey, Ghost, could you do something? But yeah, the uh, new EMF looking mighty sexy. Very cool. It's going to be so easy to get EMF 5. I... I wonder what build we're gonna run, because the way that the prestige is gonna work, it's not gonna be, uh, like, very sh Like, you can't buy all the upgrades immediately, because we're gonna unlock money as you're leveling up. So you have to, like, pick and choose which upgrades you want. Unless you probably play perfectly, 
Like, if you play perfectly and you do, like, perfect games every game and you never die, you probably will have enough money to purchase everything. Oh, blinky blinky, that means the ghost is here. Means the ghost is, the ghost is in this area. Rarely do I find the ghost because the blinky blinkies. That is... That might be the... F I mean, not the first time ever, but the first time in a very long time. Uh, and better upgrades are later in the one... Oh, yeah, they're also later in the... So you have to, like, start off with stinky items. I mean... Just basic items. I actually really love the way the 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 simple the tier one EMF looked like. It was very cool. Yeah, the one thing. So like with all these cool insane items, the one thing that might be a little bit of a hurdle for a lot of people, if the grinding is too slow, there might be a lot of people that feel like they just simply cannot prestige. Because if they do, they're never gonna get... Like, it's gonna take, like, another three weeks before they get all their items back. So that's, like, the one thing that could, like, hold people back from prestiging. Uh, I mean, that's always gonna be the case in a game that has prestiging. But I feel like in this case, it's gonna be even more so than usual. But yeah, as I was talking before CJ came in. Um, the wick I think the wiki now for... Phasmo's pretty good. I, I, I don't you look at it because my brain's the wiki, for me at least. Uh, but usually when I like when I forget something and I ask people, can you guys look it up? They say, like, the wiki says this. And then my brain goes like, it recognizes that the answer is correct. Because I, I like, recognizing is easier than remembering. So you'll be like, yeah, that sounds right. Um, and usually the wiki is correct. The aim is to make the game way harder, though, and upgrades will be priced by usefulness. To oh, nice! Because I was thinking that, like, or for example, the the thermo, the thermo last here doesn't sound very cool. Like, it doesn't sound very. I mean, not very. It, it looks great, great, but it's like a, just a re just an upgrade of the of the tier two one, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, whereas the EMF upgrade is like massive. Uh, so if it's simpler, it'll be cheaper. Interesting. Wonder how you guys are gonna balance all of that. I, I don't. I don't want to stand in your guys' shoes because that sounds like it's gonna be a lot of work. All right, we got this. It was here, right? It was very cold in this room. It's eleven. Hmm. What the heck? Ghosty pants? Oh. What the fuck? Take a photo. Gonna be a phantom. Now! Let's walk on top of this. is gonna drain my sanity. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Run! I'm taking a pill. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could get a hunt. I might as well. Now that we're low sanity. Uh... I need to grab this candle. I'm gonna die here. Don't kill me. Do not. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Give us a sign. That's my hiding spot. That's pretty shitty. Is there any hiding spot upstairs? I think I might just have to hide upstairs behind the thing. Behind the closet doors. There, if that hiding spot doesn't exist. Alright, um, I should really move these. Ow! Jesus Christmas. I haven't checked for orbs yet. The game is so high paced that you, sometimes I just forget to do things. Like on this, on insanity mode. It's truly insane. I don't see. Also, it's weird to, speaking of Reddit, it's weird when I like read, like I wake up and I see a, a post that sounds interesting and I like open it and there'll just be one random guy saying like, oh God, normal speed. InSim said this and I'm like, did I though? <laughs> like I, I watched a post today that was like about uh, patient seven, and they were like, the post was like, does anyone know how long patient seven was in the asylum? And the, and someone was like, the wiki says 12, 
12 years, but InSim says 20. And I'm like, do I though? <laughs> I don't remember ever saying that, but okay then. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Why, why do you, why do you, why do you bring me into this? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I probably did. I, what do I, what do you mean? I was going to answer and I was like, just count the fucking notches. That's what I would have done. I would have just counted the notches. Maybe I, I didn't, didn't I do that? You just count the notches and divide by 365. That's what you do. And that's how many, that's how many years. Like if that's 20, then it's 20. If that's 12, then it's 12. But whatever that answer is, that, there's like no question. They posed it like it was some fucking insane mystery. And I was like, no, it's not. It's like, just count the dodges. <laughs> That's all you got to do. The answer is right there. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. All right, you suck, ghost. Can I smudge you? Wait, what was that? Did you just throw the knife? I'm just going to smudge the ghost at 38... 30 30 lentro thank you for the 15 gift subs what the fuck okay 38 um oh fuck oh okay it's in here now it's back in here i needed to check for fingerprints Boom. So yeah maybe someone can go count them right now so we can put this we can put this this to bed once and for all where are you are you here are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Okay, so it's definitely not these two guys because no spirit box. Oh, I turn off the breaker, so it's definitely not this guy. Let it go somewhere. Um, I think I could touch this door. Throwing stuff. Can you give us a sign? Can I throw this? Threw something. Threw like a plate. Okay. Oh, back here. You sneaky boy. Okay, the ghost could hunt in 20 seconds if it's a normal ghost. I should really be turning. Where was the breaker? It was in the basement, right? Fuck, this sucks. Is it here? I don't know if it's. I don't think it is. I mean, if it hunts from there, I can hide behind the fridge. Come on, ghost. Do some. Can you give us a sign? Oh. That's a sign. Normal speed again. This is shit. Okay. It's not hunting through. It's definitely not a spirit either. No spirit, no phantom. This evidence is, evidence is proving to be very difficult. Okay. No gory, because it's roaming. Josh, you think of the 14? Nana, thank you for the two months. And Bash House, thank you for the Prime as well. No Mimic, probably? No Demon, I would say. Fade? No, it did a ghost. I mean, it did ghost events. Didn't do much. Okay. So I just threw something? Uh, wait, 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 wait. In this room, though? I think it's in that room, which is insanely shitty for me. It's over here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I mean, this is, it's, it's fine as long as the ghost stays in this area, but this could be a case where I might die because if it roams out of this area and then hunts from the kitchen, you're fucked because you can't, like you can't get anywhere. And hiding back there, even if there's a hiding spot is not safe because I've died even when the hiding spot was available. Okay. Um, it's fine. We just need to have a smudge then. We just need to have a smudge and... Um... I mean, I guess we'll grab another one of these. We have another candle down there. Oh, I can't. I just grabbed my... I dropped my flashlight. Blind man, thank you for the 11. Last life crisis, thank you for the 11 as well. Okay. Are you fucking... God damn it. What the hell? Alright, well, it did not use the crucifix. Missed the old night vision cameras. Oh, yeah, I want to see. Oh, that. Kate, okay, uh, I don't know if CJ's still here. Probably not. But 
please next dev preview can we get the video cam can we get the video cam i need to see so i really love the old green night vision i would love to have multiple colors for the night vision mm, green you say <laughs> outlast style that'd be that'd be cool then I'll be using tier one fucking camera. I wonder what it's gonna be like. You guys could literally just bring back. Oh god. You guys could like bring back the. What the? You suck, dude. What is going on? Where's my lighter? You guys could bring back the old camera as the tier one. <laughs> because. The old camera used to, like, you used to have to place it and then go to the truck to be able to actually see the orbs. I hope. I mean, I don't know how. Oh, God. This is what I'm talking about. This fucking sucks, dude. It's everything on spirit. Um, That was a lot of throws. Maybe it's a poltergeist. Let's see. Okay, it's not a poltergeist. Holy fuck. Stop hunting. I thought it was upstairs. Holy shit, I almost died. <laughs> I thought it went this way. <laughs> it went down that way. Okay, that might be fingerprints. It's not fingerprints. I mean, unless it didn't touch the door. We can take this time. Oh, there is fingerprints. Wait, maybe it's an Obake. Wait a minute. So it's not a poltergeist because it didn't throw anything. Okay, now it's getting spicy. I need to check if it's Obaka during the hunt. Dude, let's go. Wraith? It can't be Wraith. Oh, it's it's up here? No. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it did touch the door, but it, it's an Obaka. Who knows? Okay. Banshee, Paramic, Myling. I don't think so. Demon? I don't think so, because the Crucifix have never been used. So it's a Banshee or Obake. I'm just going... I'm going for it, man. We're going for, uh, Obake during the hunt. Um, I mean, we could... Do I have two more? I do have two more. We can also use this for potential Banshee scream. Taking a shower. Oh, it could! Wait a minute. What do we have to do? Oh, nothing. If we have it come over here, it might be a banshee. You give us a sign. I can't wait to see the the paramics as well. Because remember, they're doing it for every single item. Every single item is getting uh, different tiers, which is crazy. So also the paramic. Paramic are way better, and tier three is cracked. My favorite is Motion Sensor 3, so cute. Dude! You're getting me pogged up, man. Can you give us a sign? Ghost is not doing shit. Um, oh god. Oh, it's just, it's done showering. Sound levels because of the... Candles are cool too. Dude, everything is cool. Even the simple items. Sound sensor. The final upgrade for the sound sensor will show where the sounds are coming from on the map. Pretty please. <laughs> that would be amazing. Bob hyping us up. Yeah, <laughs> you're mate. You're hyping, uh, hyping us up. Only to have to wait. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Let's go! I love Obake! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> That's so cool. I lived. Nice. So, 
I think they made it, if I remember correctly, the Obake. So it is like a 6.66 chance or something to change every blink, but there will always be one change during one hunt. Like they'll, but it can be at the very beginning so then you can miss it. But anyway, that was an Obake. Very cool. But you, th that's why I love, that's why I love Insanity Mode so much because of the like, it still feels like regular Phasmo where you have to like get, gather evidence as well because we still got the fingerprints. But then it turns into like this true investigative ghost hunting game where you have to use your knowledge of all the ghosts as well. It's like it's like a perfect mix of both. I mean, that was definitely a longer game because Obaki was being sneaky. Uh, let's see. So we've done Bridgeview, Edgefield we haven't done, Tanglewood we haven't done, Bleasto we haven't done, and Camp Wundwind we haven't done. Let's do another big map. Let's do potentially one of the hardest. Let's do Maple Lodge. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, I think next week is the cool weekly challenge, by the way. Might be a week after, though. The cool. What do you mean, the cool? <laughs> I, f I thought the one from this week was insanely cool. I really enjoyed the one from this week. One I think you and many others will love. Dude, let's go. Party ghost. Where are you at? <clears throat> yeah, the top tier lighter is gonna be a flamethrower. Kill it. Oh my god, hi there! <laughs> that genuinely startled me. <laughs> I was not looking for you, but you looked for me. <gasps> hi. Look who it is. He's just chilling. It's Landy. Turn on my EMF. Probably just have this out instead. I want a cabin ghost. I've gotten very few cabin ghosts recently. I mean, whatever it is, it's gonna be roaming like crazy. This might be one of those maps where you kind of want to take a pill early so it doesn't roam. Maybe. I love how you can hear. <laughs> Oh, you can hear the the inside hum coming from the house from far away. You hear this? <laughs> why do the house? Why do the houses hum in this game? Like, Hi there, Lanny. How are you doing? Or Larry? I forget. I think it was Lanny. Ghost farts. Maybe the ghost is here. Oh, could be. Hello? Oh. Wait, didn't I just turn on the breaker? Wait. Oh, it's out here. Wait, what? Wait, what? It already... Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. It's here. It's out here, I think. Hello? Did I throw something? I threw something back here, I think. Ghost. Can you give us a sign? I heard something being thrown outside, at least. Can you still get on this? Oh! Radio! Aha! Uh -huh. Give me five. Come on, give it to me. Oh, you piece. I don't have a photo cam. What the fuck? Okay, so in this area then? No. Okay, you know what? Now that it's in a pretty decent room, it's gonna suck though not getting hunts, but the hunts are gonna suck if I get them early. And the, especially the roaming. It's interesting how on insanity mode, you have to like think way more about taking pills or not. Like in normal mode, it would always be just just take the pills. What's the downside? But in insanity mode, it means that you're not going to get a hunt for a really long time. So you actually have to think about it because you can't uh, drop sanity using the, the cursed possession. The person was locked in that room in Sunny Meadows for 747 or seven thousand four hundred seventy days which is around 20 years and five months why does the wiki say 12 years then and why 
do people make fun of me for giving the correct answer that I don't even remember giving, but apparently it's the correct answer. I was correct and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Why would the wiki say like an obvious wrong answer though? That doesn't make it- You're undermining my- I was just praising the wiki for being right. And then it's like getting- it's like getting the most obvious thing wrong. It's just like a simple math test. Is it- What? Anyway, whatever. Um... Calculator's not included. It's just harder, insanity or friendly ghost. Uh, definitely insanity. Let's put this all in here. It's probably gone already, which sucks. You give us a sign. No, it's still here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you cool? Yeah, let's go! Holy shit, okay. Okay. I'm grabbing a smudge stick right away. Hey, that's amazing. It's huge. Huge. Okay, anyway, they were in there for a really long time, turns out. I've heard you say multiple times how wrong the welcome to the game wiki is. I mean, that's because it is. Beta, beta, thank you for the 10 months. Like, I used to play games that were so popular that they had, like, flawless wikis. Like, Terraria has, like, a flawless wiki. Minecraft has a really good wiki. Or at least, like, from a casual user perspective. I know there's people that also say, like, the Minecraft wiki is wrong. I don't know. I don't use it too much. I don't use it at all, actually. Um, but what is it? A, a, a recipe for disaster is complicated game. Oh god! Low speed. Wins. Complicated game plus small community. That will lead to... What the guys? Hello? I don't think it's a poltergeist. It basically can't be a poltergeist unless these items can't be thrown. I'm gonna get killed here. What, what the fuck am I thinking? Okay, nice. It worked out. Um, I smudged that 5510. I think it is a haunter. Or it's twin. Yeah, if a game is a is if a game is complicated and it has a small community, that's a recipe for having a bad wiki. Um Especially if the mechanics aren't very well explained in the game. I bet it's a ghost, dude. You're onto something. Uh, it wasn't a phantom, right? Not a Moroi, not a Dio. Um, can you give us a sign? It definitely sped up. But we're trying to get another hunt and I'm listening if it's going to be faster. Can we get a twin to right? We can't see it on the chart, but we can definitely hear it. Why not a Mora? Because it was slow as hell. I mean, I guess it, I could be low san- or high sanity. Maybe. That's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. Now you're talking about it? Because especially because we got spirit box, right? Jane Doe. Why is the Jane Doe glowing? This is a glow-in-the-dark book. Can you give us a sign? Yeah, this turned out to be amazing because of the- it's so far, we've been really lucky on the big maps. We got an obvious stay, and now, uh... <laughs> a nice spirit box. Throwing lots of stuff out here. It did make a mess. Can you throw these items? Okay, so then it can't be a poltergeist, because it wasn't throwing those. So then I can rule out poltergeist. Um, it should be able to hunt very soon. Yeah, what, what are they going to do with the, the book? Like, the book upgrades. <laughs> what the fuck could they do? Oh, God. I think 
it was already faster. Fuck, I have to smudge to get away. Shit. You remade them. It sounds faster. For sure, right? It's a, it's a twin. For sure it's a twin. If three book is an iPad, yeah, tier three only takes one hour to be used instead of two hours. Oh god. Okay, stop. Oh, a ghost event? Photo? I don't have a photo again. Uh, are you still here? I already checked for Orbeez, didn't see them, right? So it can't be... I mean, it would have been a very convenient mimic. Let's just get out of here. I think it's a twin. That's very... Oh, what the fuck are you doing there? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? What the... I'm out of here. He's just standing. He's just chilling. He's like just having a picnic. AD, thank you for the 16. And Doppel, thank you for the prime. Dude, we did all objectives too saying goodbye unless it wasn't twins for that i would be very surprised welcome back i prepared some jobs for you i should have known dude holy shit how perfect fucking tricked brother holy shit that was actually very i mean obviously so wait how much sanity did i lose okay so wait what only 64 percent sanity loss which means no 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 no, never mind because we started 75 remember yeah no that's actually a perfect showcase of how the twin or how the mora can feel like a twin because when it hunted at first at around 50 it was slow um and then it drained my sanity more because of the spirit box it was draining my sanity like crazy, so I was the second hunt that was already at like was already all the way down to eleven, very low, which means the ghost was super fast. So the way we have to do that is do another hunt and then have some sanity pills during the hunt and take them during the hunt to see if the speed goes down, or we could have just done another hunt at zero sanity and we would have figured out that it was um, that it was way faster than the twin would ever be. But that was, I mean. I don't know, we should have probably figured out that I was faster than the fast twin, but that was, that was pretty damn smart, I gotta tell you. That's a clever ghosty. Uh, what do we have? We have Susan Emmett. I was just start with basic. Why is it always foggy? Yeah, or smudge test. I mean, the smudge test is really useful on apocalypse difficulty, but not on... I mean, there's way better options on normal difficulties. Hello? Oh, I heard that. I wasn't here. Screw this. You sneaky. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Alright, well, probably not this guy nor this guy. Alright, I'm out of here. I should probably take a pill now. Or I could just get another hunt, get free. Future US Marine, thank you for the gift sub. That's, that was cool. That is it. That has happened to me before with... Oh, I think that's... Hasn't that happened on... It happened during the video where I was pretending that I was playing against Psycho. That Amoroi acted like the twins, I think. That was such a fun video. The April Fool's video. Hey Hunter, what's up? That was very funny. It, it, it surprised me how much sense it made. Like how, when the more I thought about it, the more it could actually work. Like, I've always said that it would make no sense whatsoever to have like a PvP in Phasmo, which it doesn't because the game is not PvP. But I think it would w work to have a ghost hunting game where you play against a ghost that's like in a classic um classic ghost hunting style hey yo thank you for the 18. i still need to check out metaphysical they did a pvp update 
But I haven't I haven't seen seen it yet. Oh, knock on the window. Oh god. What the fuck? That was so short. I wonder if that drained my sanity. He says before getting a hunt. Okay, touch this. Check for you. Or issue with it is the ghost player will be actively losing by giving evidence. Yeah, but if you I don't know if you watched me pretend like there was a PvP update in Phasmo during April Fools. I did a whole stream pretending that there was that I was playing against Psycho and I made up some rules. Like, so in order for the ghost to hunt, it has to build the my 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 make believe uh mechanics were that in order for the ghost oh god to hunt it has to build up activity stacks it has to like in order to be able to do ghost events to do like the stuff that actually matters it has to do activity give itself away and then build up stacks to be able to now, obviously that's abusable as fuck like you could wait until every player is gone and then do like acti like obviously it wouldn't work still but like, I also was like, the the ghost can't see what items the players are holding. They can't see the crucifixes. They can't see the smudge sticks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, I, I I was I was going full. I was going hog wild on that. <laughs> I was like pretending real hard. I was like, just just as like a thought experiment. What would it look like? And it actually was much more interesting than I thought. Yeah, the hunts wouldn't work. Obviously, like. I mean, there's lots of things that wouldn't work, but there is an interesting, like, there could be a game made. Like, with enough alterations, you can make a uh, ghost hunting game where the ghost is controlled by the player, and it is still, like, about evidence collection. Uh, fuck you, it's all the way back. I should've, I already knew that. Breakers all the way in the, in the workshop. Annoying as heck. Alright, where the fuck are you? You're gonna hunt me. I'm a little scared. I kind of just want to hunt, and then if it's not a special ghost, I wouldn't just, uh, like, eat pills. Then it's still AI, but you're controlling it. Yeah, because, like, obviously, hunting, hunts wouldn't work at all, because you could just, like, players would be way too smart. Like, you would easily just check the hiding spots and then, like, just kill them. <laughs> And doing like four, like you can only go into hiding spots when you see the player go into a hiding spot would be, I don't know, it would be weird. Or, I mean, it could be indeed like more like influencing. Like, what if you made it, dude? What if you make it, made it like a game master where you have like one person who's like controlling five different poltergeists at the same time in like five different games <laughs> it's like the poltergeist guild <laughs> that would be so funny because then you could make it like very simple it would be interesting i don't know it wouldn't work as like a dbd style game though or at least if you just straight up do phasmo it wouldn't work because the hunts wouldn't work you need to you need to make something else up have the ghost player control Ghost like a sim. Real-time strategy mode controlling an AI with fog of war so you can only see what the ghost sees. Can you give us a sign, by the way? Are you a fucking Dio or some bullshit? What's this going on? Oh, knock on the window. Is that all the way at the back? I think it was all the way at the back here. No. Symmetrical gameplay is fun. It is. Sit over here. I'm too late. I think it was in this room. Hey, Lanoa, what's up? I think it's in that room. I mean, at least it's knocked there. I don't know if it's actually there. Ah! Fuck! Jesus. Oh, it's a baby. Stupid idiot! Stupid idiot! I'm looking for a back, eh? Sounds kind of slow. 
I don't think this is an Obake. I could just loop it because it's gonna stop hunting any second. There you go. Um, it's not an Obake for sure. It's not like a Revenant. Raichu, Dio, Thay. Or it could be. I'm not gonna have that have. I'm not gonna get baited again. It sounded kind of slow. Let's try Spearbox. Where are you? Let's try fingerprints. Not fingerprints. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? I know that. More vision in here. It's in this room, right? Not crazy. Is it just? I mean, it was touching the doors a bunch. Have fingies? No, I don't. Only blinking. No, we got an air ball. Oh god. Fuck! I was too far away from the photo cam. This sucked. Um. Oh. Okay then. You suck. I hate it here. I'm gonna turn this on. You can fuck yourself. First mirror in the bathroom. Go get it. Nice bait. Oh. There's uh, been a. There's been so many failed asymmetrical horror games. Apparently even like Evil Dead has uh, died out a lot in player base. Apparently finding a game as a demon is instant and finding it as a survivor is almost like takes hours or something. I don't know if it takes hours, but it takes a very long time. And that's like fucking Evil Dead. That sounded weird. I'm a little, tr little fast. Oh, did you just touch this? Did just. Okay. What the fuck? My brother in Christ. You suck. And gift writing? What is going on, brother? Oh god. It's over there. It's another fucking Moroi! You sack of shit! <laughs> you piece? Wait, how much the where's the spear box then? Wait. Hello? Wait. Is it though? Where are you? Are you here? There you go! Okay, so now let's do what we should have done last game. Which is take pills into the into the map. So it's probably this guy. That's so I, I love how they gave us the Segos two times in a row so we can like uh properly show how you should deal with this ghost. Uh so what we're gonna do, I hope this is gonna work because this is not a technically a hiding spot, but it should still work. Aren't pills like 5%? No, they're a lot. All right, have a good one, CJ. Oh, here we go. You hear how it's slowed down? You hear how much slower it is now after I took the pills? That's what I was talking about. So the it used to not work like this, but now it does. The ghost will dynamically change its speed during a hunt based on the average team sanity, which means that if you take pills, it'll slow down. So you can test it that way. Yeah, there you go. That was a Moroi. Thank you for doing it two times in a row so I could uh, get fooled one time, which is also... I mean, every time I lose because of some reason, it's educational. Um... It used to be one of my biggest pet peeves. I used to be so addicted to Phasma that I would 
like watch other people play all the time and my biggest pet peeve of watching other people play is where they would go like well i've tried we've tried nothing but we're all out of ideas like we've tried wraith and phantom i'm just gonna guess like it's so i i this is so annoying when people are just like not actually playing and they're like well it wasn't one of the ghosts that i know so i guess i'll just fucking leave uh like you that's that's the point of phasmo you got to push through those hard games to get to the interesting stuff uh but anyway so let's see where do we we still need to do tanglewood edgefield camp woodwind let's do camp woodwind now it was like so many people used to do that. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment. That's why you play solo because everyone. I, I guess it's also a thing in uh, in like normal games with other people. I mean, I, to be honest, in multiplayer, I can see it. Oh, there's another slender. Dude, slender is coming to town. In multiplayer, I can kind of see it because there are situations in multiplayer where it's just such a hopeless. What the fuck? Where you get perma hunted, like, uh, because you once the whole team gets to zero sanity, there's nothing you can do to get your sanity back, and you'll just be perma hunted until. You either leave or figure out, or you figure out the ghost, or everyone dies. Orbis, throwing. What's going on? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You turn off the breaker, cause no, no, never mind. I never turn it off. Where are you? Are you here? I think it touched this maybe it's so one thing that makes this map so hard um, i mean among other things is it's so hard to distinguish between rooms um you got a nice ghost photo right yeah look at that all righty uh grab bing bang boom too much of a coward to play alone the people that are really suffering are people that are too scared to play alone, but too socially ang anxious to play in teams. That's... Oh my god. Another singing ghost event? That's true misery. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? It's not spare box, unless it's some s sick bastard. Uh, I think it might be a banshee. Yeah, it might be. Another Mora. Oh, I feel like we've... There was two singing ghost events. That's a little too much. That's not a singing. Holy shit. That's cool. Alright, hum me. Ghost going fucking buck wild. Uh, not a shade. Could be shade. Or a Oni. Turn on the fire. You don't even really need a flashlight on this map when you... Yeah, honestly. Why do we even have a flashlight on this map? It almost sounded like... How are you... Can you not hum me right now? Yeah, and then I can just hold another evidence item. That's amazing. Not this. Let's check for EMF. Don't I have an EMF? Can I throw it on the ghost? I remember throwing it at the ghost when I was doing a ghost event? What the fuck? It was at the block. Oh, at the blocks I moved it afterwards, yeah. I wonder how VR looks in this game. I got many videos in VR. whole different experience way more like way more of an experience it's much much less about the strategy when you're playing in vr and much more about surviving 
Because the game, like, surviving is so much harder in VR. Alright, give me a sign. This is too bright for even the... I mean, I guess there's literally lights on. Wait, is that an orb? I thought I saw an orb for a second. But it's probably just a fire. Dude, what the fuck? It's not a hunt. So I can see it permanently. What the fuck? Oh god. Not an Oni, right? I don't think so. Now, there's bl some of those blinks are too long for an Oni. Yeah, the, 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 there's way too long blinks. Did it just freaking threw that? Wait, what? Did you see that? It threw the book and then threw it again. Hmm. It's not a. Uh, wait, not a pony. Uh, ah! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Good God, man. Oh. Ah! Let's go. It could be a polter. Might have to set up a polter pile around the fire. That was cool. Um, be, it's just been pretty messy. Not a phantom? Yeah, I mean, it can't be. Do a pull through explosion. Do it. Oh, don't do that. are fucking crazy, brother. Ah! Oh, it's not a poltergeist? No, it does kind of look like a poltergeist. Like those, the ping ponging is really suspicious. Hi, ghost. It does, it does not throwing enough, but it like, when it left this, it was like, boom. It was throwing an item and then throwing it again and then throwing an item and throwing it again. Obviously not this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Just messy. Okay. Do we need smudge? There we go. Okay. A small map so we can. Wait, you can actually kill me? Okay, never mind. Okay, we smudged. Like, uh. Oh. At like 21 or 2050. What the fuck, dude? This goes. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, party pony, what's up? Okay. Well, let's see. Figuring out spear right now, so probably not a pulser. Not a miling either, right? But then it's spirit mare demon. I mean, so a normal ghost should be able to hunt, or a, a demon can hunt basically now. On me. It's throwing. Hello? Not hunting. Another like 10 seconds. Come on, do it! 
Throw me demon. Dang it. I think it's just gonna be a, I mean, maybe it's a spirit. That would be very useful. Oh. Hey there. Turn that shit out. That used to be so much, didn't this used to be so much louder? It's still really loud when you turn it on. It's a very annoying sound. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's not hunting like a demon right now, at least. It could be. Uh, can you, are you gonna be a spirit? I mean, it would actually be some, this would be like a classic spirit. I don't know why, spirits are always crazy. Oh god. I didn't see it, but... Alright. Grenade, thank you for the three. What the hell was that? It was invisible. Uh, can you do something? It's probably a spirit. <laughs> it's been... In like 20 seconds, it's been three minutes. Oh, what are you doing? Just hit the other ball and then bounce off of it. What a... A contraption. 40 seconds? Is my timer completely off? I thought I said 20... 2050. That's in 10 seconds. And you give us a sign. For 23? Did I miss it? Oh, thank you, Nana. You give us a sign? Yeah, sorry that I didn't notice it while I was being chased by a crazy spirit. <laughs> Feel like you can't forgive me? Definitely called you out in the past. Remember the name. No reason to denotice me. Alright, this is probably a spirit. Let's just smudge it. So the timer you're looking for is when I hit the smudge. So right now, 2426. That's what's important. Not when the hunt ends. Not I don't know when the smudge stick stops burning or whatever other thing you're looking for. As soon as I smash the button, hit the ghost, that's when the timer starts. The hunt, not when the hunt ends. That's a lot. That's a, something people get wrong all the time. Uh, I mean, it's something you kind of just have to learn. It's something I didn't used to know for the longest time. A timer? I just used the timer on my recording. <laughs> It's very convenient. This is way harder when I'm like playing single player without a recording. Can you do something? Um, okay, so I mean, it's probably just gonna be another three minutes, but uh, I mean, you know what? I'm going with spirit. If you were really a spirit, this I'm not gonna wait another three minutes. I'm going. Bye bye, idiot. If you really waited that long to be boring, and then you don't- you're not a spirit, then you win. You win because you suck. Because it was- it was very, very long. I don't want to wait that long again. There you go. So I'm glad I did that, because otherwise I would have been stuck there for another three minutes. That was only 12 minutes for, uh, for Camp Woodman. That's not even that bad. And we got the writing, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so... Prison, Sunny Meadows, Edgefield, Tanglewood. Let's do prison. Oh god. Here we go. Prison, one of the most hated maps in the game. Also the first map that was ever added to the game. This is the only map... The only map that's been made... By DK after the base... The, the, like after the game came out. All the other maps have been made. Maybe Willow as well. Oh, I think Willow was partially made by DK as well. Because Willow is like... CJ... I think CJ and Lavender came in right as that update was like about to come out. But yeah. No, Willow... I mean, Willow is CJ's cat, but it's a happy coincidence. It wasn't made to be that way. It's like... Revisionist history. All right, could you give us a sign? What the fuck? I thought I pulled it open. That's very convenient. Yeah, Willow is also DK, so never mind. Scrap all of that. But 
prison definitely feels different somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'm just because it's so old. Like it feels like it's one of the OG maps. It's just because it's one of the it's one of the maps where when we first played on this, we it was still old Phasmo. Like blink, blink, blink during a hunt, no sprinting, uh old paramike, old everything. It's like uh It just feels weird. Whereas, like, if you play on Maple or Camp Woodwind, you can't imagine how it would be to play on those maps with, like, the old mechanics. Because it's never been possible. I definitely want to go back to the old... We're making that, like, a... Oh. Kind of a tradition. I think it's down there. I think it is. Yeah, it's down in the... In this area. Unless the paramic is, like, fucking trolling me. Hello? Oh! We? Don't tell me you're in this area. Don't tell me you're in the middle. Oh, did you touch this door? Are you in here? Hello, ghost? Entrance goes. Oh. Hi there. How are you today? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, Oni, no. Again. No, Oni. Uh. It's kind of interesting how. Because DK has been a lot more private than the rest of the dev team. I guess no one knows Skinner either. I mean, like, not they know Skinner, but they don't actually know who he is. Like, Lavender and CJ have been a lot more outgoing. So a lot a lot of people probably think that, like, <laughs> CJ is just, like, the creator of Phasmo, even though he isn't. <laughs> He's just working for Kinetic Games. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of scared that I'm going to die, but I guess we're just going to... Go. Uh, like, DK made the whole game. Everything. Obviously, recently. Just touch a remote. Oh. Is that this door? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? It's okay, so probably not that. Really wanna EMF? Or not EMF, but uh, QP. F team is still very small. Um, boom and boom. No more with you, probably not. I mean, you, from last game or a few games ago, you saw how sometimes the spirit box can be deceiving. Can I just be lucky with evidence on this map? That would be amazing. All right, so probably no fingies. Stop that there. It's gonna hunt any second unless it's some weird ghost. And I love the sunset on, or sunrise on this map. This is a great map, like. It's a cool prison. Like it actually has so much like outside of the map. Remember when the truck was all the way fucking back there? <laughs> and we had with the old sprint or old speed. I don't miss that for sure. <laughs> the truck was like at the f the last parking spot and it and we didn't even have sprints. So it took like genuine like minute and a half to get to the front door. It was fucked up. It was so stupid. Right, can you give us a sign? It is definitely here. If this is a phantom, it's gonna... It's gonna ch- Oh. 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? You know, might as well take the photo. Wait, where's my photo? Photo cam! Wait, what the fuck? What's there. Does that count? Yeah, that's count. Okay. Um... I'm gonna die. Oh boy, I made it. Old Asylum was amazing, though. I love Old Asylum. That's, like, the one reason I'm so happy we, like, it's still possible to go back. Just to check out Old Asylum. It sucks that they probably will never do, like, an event where they bring it back. Just because the game is, like, moving forward. Oh! Did it just turn on the light? It did! Not a mirror. Also, that was a pretty far away touch. Are you twins? What is this sound? You hear this? I've heard it like... I don't, it's probably too quiet for you to hear it with... Like, especially if you're using speakers or something. It sounds like someone... What is this sound? It sounds like hitting two marbles against each other. I don't know if that was a like an ambient noise. Anna, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. I don't know what that was. It sounded like like a keyboard, maybe. Oh, fuck you, ghost. Touching over here. How is it not hunting though? This is weird. Hello. Rusty pants. Ghosty pant. Fuck. Oh, it's fast. Wait. Wait, what? The breaker isn't even on, is it? Oh, no, it is. Maybe? What the fuck? Is it a gin? That was almost too fast for a gin. I think it's right you. I don't think we're gonna find any. Something fishy. Uh, Cause it was fast while it wasn't even seeing me. I think it's a right you. Did the breaker turn off? I think it did turn off the breaker. So it's not a gin. So then it ha unless it's no, because it's not slow enough for. But yeah, it's uh. Um, I don't think it's this because it wasn't slow enough for a revenant. I think. Definitely not a gin. Cats over humans. Thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, we need to figure out if it's a uh, Raichu. Probably is, but... You suck! Could be Hantu as well, maybe. Maybe. Oh, here we go. It's a Raichu. Unless, I mean, it could be Hantu. Running towards electricity. Okay. But how's it going fast? Wait. Wait, what? Eh? How did it speed up there? Wait. <laughs> what? How did it? Huh? <laughs> how did it speed up? Was it above the dots from the equipment below? Wait, what? Is it a Hantu? 
Wait, excuse me? Is it a Hansu? Maybe, maybe it is just... Maybe because it technically changed the room? It felt like as soon as it got close to my equipment, it started... What? It did kill the breakers. We don't have any evidence, so... I mean, it did, I don't know if it sped up. Oh, God. What the freak? Wait, no, but it's not freezing, right? It would be freezing. I did check for fingies. Um, did I even check for orbs? Orbies. Can it even be orbs if it's a right tree? Yeah. This is sneaky as hell. Very cool. I like this ghost. Oh, it is orbs! I'm just bad. Okay, well, never mind then. It's a right tree. <laughs> Get me out! Run! Okay, well, that's on me. That one's on me. That was just a. Uh... Big ghost room. I checked the tiny room, but I didn't check the big room. Oh, there you go. That's why it's so nice to have... I mean, we could have obviously figured that out without uh, evidence as well. Because it can't be a hunter because no freezing. And, I mean, it can't really be... I mean, unless it's a mimic and it just didn't do freezing in spirit box. Yeah, there you go. Welcome back. Alrighty, a lot of money if you do these, but that was a long, that was a tricky, wait, it was only 12 minutes? That felt like it was an eternity, okay. <laughs> That's a nice part of insanity as well, it doesn't take as long, because you don't have to do as much, and you get hunts early. Okay, anyway, we have Tanglewood, I think this is the first time ever, no, we still have Edgefield and Tanglewood. Let's do Tanglewood, Tanglewood last. I, I usually do Tanglewood first in these runs, Tanglewood's gotta wait one, wait for once. Get back in line. Wait your turn. Tanglefield, yeah. Tanglefield. Um, hello there. Gorio. We haven't had Gorios yet, but they're not that problematic anyway. Because of the dots. Hello. And go, sir. Asmo does look great. Like, it's very reflective. Like, it's not quite photorealistic. But how, why isn't it? The lighting is pretty damn good. Especially when you're playing VR, it's like, it looks really good. I think, maybe the lighting is... A cursed item, there's no... Like it, it it looks amazing, but it, I've like definitely uh, seen games that look way better. Like Unreal Engine Five games just have this like I don't know they have this like magical lighting. They have a very uh, just like built-in lighting that's just very realistic. The lumen system, yeah. Yeah, I think it I think it's just a little too glossy. Like when look how it's reflecting in the middle here. Maybe maybe that's actually supposed to be that way, but hey. Anyway, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out for myself why it doesn't look like photorealistic. Like I wouldn't call Phasma photorealistic. It looks amazing. But it's It's not like pushing any boundaries. It's definitely, like, far above average, though. I've played many, many games that look very, very ugly. That are made in Unity. I really hope it's not in this hallway. One time. Nursery? Nowhere. The ghost doesn't exist. It's a fake ghost. Ghosts aren't real. Can you change? I don't know why. Can you change this on the fly? Oh! <laughs> you can. 
I, I just, I don't know. I just had that question. Oh, it's 12F, guys. Anyway, you just touched this door. Fifty C. <laughs> yeah, do this and then take a screenshot and report it as a bug, dude. <laughs> We're fucked up. Hot, hot temps evidence, dude. Okay, it is in the hallway. Of course it is, you son of a piece. It always is. Always has been. Oh. Noni. Do you have any hiding? Oh. oh, I thought that we had both of these. Still good, though. And you give us a sign. Oh, God. What the fuck? Nice ass, man. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Hmm. We haven't got. Oh! Uh huh. A dots, but not Gorio. Not Oni. Not Phantom. Ah! Not they. Not Dio. Not Raichu. Dude, this is sick. I could have died there if it was a Dio. <laughs> That would have been bad. Oh boy. <laughs> Coming for me. Um. Did it sing? Yure, it likes doors. I mean, the Yure doesn't like doors. It just has a special ability with doors. Well, this should be a decent. Decently doable run. Just need to get the salt in there. Hold the motion sensor. Motion sensor, yes, nice. And then the cruise. What new items and am, am I most hyped about? I can't say that yet. They've only showed like three of them. Every item is getting a rework. We have to see them all first. EMF, yeah, I mean, I guess so far. The EMF. The dots is also gonna be gonna be really fun to play with. For sure. Oh, I just stepped on the motion sensor. We can check if it walked in the salt. Is it a wraith? A wraith though? Oh. It's not a wraith. Also crucifix. Two photos. Oh, one, two. Also touch this door. I don't know which one it was. I'm assuming it was this, but I'm gonna take the photo like this so that in case it was the other one, I'm still gonna get like a two star. <laughs> Got him. All right. Well, it's not a wraith. Oh, okay, man. Where's my other photo again? Well then, um, not a wraith. Yokai. I need a smudge for that. What's the last? Oh, we have everything. And should look for the. We can look for the bone and then also check for. Oh, fuck. Potential Banshee. Hello, hello! Check for Yokai. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, no Yokai. Holy shit. Watch it. Run! Unless it's the most. Like, the smartest yokai ever made. So no yokai. It was a Yurei or Banshee, our favorite. My favorite combo. Love it here. Um, well, oh. This is weird. Wait, no, that wasn't this door. Wait, which door was that? Oh, that's the I was like, why isn't it... 
it keeps touching doors, but then not actually moving them. Um, all right, let's uh, grab this. Probably not gonna scream, but who knows? I should let the Banshee scream be on the spirit box, but Banshee doesn't have spirit box, so I mean, I guess they could change it. Let's drop this down here. And then hold on to lighter if I can find it. I don't have a I must have a lighter, right? Where the fuck is the lighter? You were standing on it? Oh, well. Oh. Anyway, I'll grab a new one. Alright, give me a scream. Do the do the scream is so good. Thank you, good grind. Okay, well fuck. Come on! Definitely not done. We could also do this. Or we could do this and then stand down here. With the paramic. And then see if it triggers the motion sensor, like if it comes towards me. Okay. Come on, go scream! Has it done singing ghost events? I think it did one. Not getting anything. I don't know if I'm able to reach. I think I think you can get paramic through floors. Did a humming ghost event? I mean, that counts. Oh. I mean, I guess. It's not coming down. I could just hide. This is annoying. Luckily the ghost, I mean, I am in the dark, right? I'm a sneaky boy. Get away from me. So we're looking... If we don't get anything, it's a Yure. But like, that's hard to call. People say... Like, I, I obviously have used it as well, like the motion sensor trick, but... People seem to say it's much more reliable than it actually is. Like people say, oh, it happens like all the time. Like the, when you get far away from the ghost and it starts tripping the motion sensor all the time. If it doesn't do it before the next hunt, I think we leave with Yure. And then if it's not Yure, I can just blame Reddit. <laughs> we did it, Reddit. Come on. Do something. You're doing nothing. We haven't gotten a single whisper though. This is like why I think the Banshee ability counter is so bugged. Because obvious, I mean, unless uh, this might, imagine not being a Banshee. Let's assume that it's true. You're not giving me shit. I mean, so that's like a whole... That is an insane amount of time without triggering the motion sensor, without any screams. I'm leaving. I'm saying it's a Yuri, and let's see it. Maybe they were right. It's gonna be a surprise yokai, dude. Imagine. <laughs> the smartest yokai in town. Let's see it. I've been lied to! <laughs> Reddit! <laughs> Fuck you, Reddit! <laughs> you pieces of shit. Okay, so, like, this is why... This is why this is so bugged. Like, look, 29. What is... What 29? It can't... So, let's, let's count, right? So, 11 minutes. That's basically, I mean, a rough estimate. Whatever this ability counter is, if it was... Like, uh... Like, spread out throughout the whole mission, 
it did three abilities every minute basically a little bit less than three abilities every minute which means that the the like four minutes that i was standing there with the paramic it should have picked up every single scream so it can't be counting the screams and the the motion sensor was literally literally right there in the pathway so it couldn't go through the pathway so it also wasn't roaming so what the fuck is this ability counter counting like i know that doesn't uh, this doesn't matter for how we deduce it during the hunt but whatever oh no this uh 29 whatever whatever this is counting it's not screams and it's not like abilities it must be like i think they bugged it you know what i think they bugged something with like Whenever the ghost checks, what I'm assuming is going wrong here is that whenever the ghost is checking, hey, how's my target doing? That counts as an ability. Whenever it like checks on the sanity of the target to do anything, it counts as an ability. To, like to roam, to, um, to do ghost events, to do hunts. I think that's what's going wrong. I think they accidentally put like the, the plus plus the the counter plus plus in like a method that was that's not actually doing abilities it's doing way more than that i think that's what's going wrong uh but yeah i've definitely had the scream through walls before that's i mean that's the easy that's the easy copium like oh he was just checking it through floors that's not how that works obvious like obviously last game the game before that we got the prison ghost by using the paramic through the floor so it's like like, it, it definitely works. Oh. Gotcha. Obviously, we could have stuck around forever. That's the thing why, why I never feel bad getting a Banshee wrong when I'm in a situation like that. Because it's like... It's like... Like, I know you could figure that out by just, like, making the time of the mission approach infinity. Like, with enough time, a Banshee will reveal itself. I just can't be asked to, uh, to stick around for, like, 20 minutes to make sure that it is a Banshee and rather just, like, rather just go, like, I know how this, like, it's like doing a practice exam. You're, like, I, I don't know if you, you guys, <laughs> like, sometimes you're, you're learning for some kind of course that has, like, really long answers to, to questions. Like, you have to do, like, a whole proof of something, and then... If you know, you know, you go like, I know how to write this down. I'm just not gonna do it right here. I, you'll just, you'll, you'll get like the same question three times. You'll do like, all right, to test if I know it, I'll do it once, but I'm not gonna do it three times. Cause I already know. Like once, if I prove it once, I, I, I don't have to do it three times. Cause it's gonna be like, I'd rather focus my, my learning on other things. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel about Banshees. Like if I, if I get a Banshee, I'm like, I know how to do this. It's just not worth the time to actually invest in doing like 20 minutes of investigating to come to the conclusion that it's a Banshee. All right, we don't need this anymore because it's orbs. It could be Mimic though. Where are you? Are you here? Is this still in this room? It is. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Jasmine, thank you for the six months. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Why is it not talking? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Wiki says that the Banshee can't roam to you if you're on a different floor. It's a bug. That could very much be the case. That might be why I've never found the trick to be useful. Oh. That's actually interesting. That, I... I like, it, it aligns so well with my experience that it might be true. I don't know, because I would have to ask the devs, but it might be true. Uh, let's see. We need motion sensor. That would explain a lot. And then just quickly check. I mean, we already know with the orbs, right? What isn't bugged? Did people get so mad at Phasmo? Like, completely unfounded? Whenever I post, like, a video on Phasmo or on any other game, it will go, like... Like, I don't want to... I, I don't like to compare games too much, but there's, like, people that are, like... Dude, Demonologist is, like... Ev literally does 
everything better than Phasmo. And I'm like, how many hours? How many hours you got in Demonologist? Uh, it's not more than a thousand, I can tell you. I mean, I guess because the game isn't out too long. But, like, I like Demonologist. But the replayability is pretty shit. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like Ghost Watchers. Ghost Watchers is... It's a really flashy game, and when you first play it, you're like, holy shit, this is revolutionary. This game is crazy. But then, the more you play it, the more repetitive the jump scares become. Like, I think... Um... They were... Like, I, I, I watched a video recently about... This is a complete... This is a psycho tangent, but... I watched a video recently about why Google couldn't integrate AI in its search engine right now and bing can like bing can do weird like experiments like this because ai right now in the state that it's in is like pretty dangerous it's like wrong all the time it's um it's really impressive when it works but it just also very confidently just says completely wrong things imagine if google the biggest search platform on the planet were to implement something that just like lies to you like 10 percent of the time it just confidently tells you complete bullshit like it would be it would be fucking pandemonium it would be a complete shit show all of the like grandmas using google would it would it would be it would be it would be a, an apocalypse so like obviously they can't like <laughs> they can't do that and Bing can because Bing has nothing to lose. Google has everything to lose and nothing to gain. Whereas Bing has everything to gain and nothing to lose. So, and it's similar to that, why I went on that tangent is because for Phasmo, it's similar. Phasmo, like people are like, why is Horror 2.0 not out yet? It's been so long. Well, because if they fucked it up and they just did every time you walk around this corner, the ghost peeks around the corner of the kitchen and goes like, ooh, I'm so spooky. Like what they do in Ghost Watchers. Like I, I recently I placed Ghost Watchers and they very much improved the jump scares. I think they did a great job. I said it at the end of that video. I still got comments on that video like, dude, they improved the jump scares so much, but I guess those people didn't watch to the end, which is fair. I make very long videos, but um, like they improved it a lot recently. But when Ghost Watchers first came out, every time you would walk around a corner or into a specific room, they would play the same event every time. Like you would walk into a room, all the blocks would start floating, spin in a circle, fall down to the floor. You would walk into a hallway, uh, the doors would open, a ghost would show up and the doors would close. Like it was so predictable to the point of it being so boring. And that's exactly what could go wrong with Phasmo. The way the ghost events are in this game right now, they're so like dynamic. There is no repetition in the ghost events. Like I know they're very simple, but no ghost event will ever be the same because of the, the like combinatorial explosion of having singing, shadow, translucent, walking, standing, different, and that's like all different options of how the ghost looks like. Then you have all different sounds it can make, all different rooms it can be in. Like the ghost events possibilities are endless because of the like, the, the five times five times five times five possibilities of like how many different ghost events there can be. Um, get a crucifix. Photo and another one. I think I can take another. How many footstep photos have I taken? Three. All right, but I can't take more. I can just take all of them. Um, so if Phasmo were to like do it cheaply, like how I, in my opinion, again, always my opinions, whatever I say, uh, in my opinion, it's an easy cash-in to do something like what uh, demonologists and ghost watchers do, which is just add scripted jump scares that are impressive in terms of animations, but always the same. Um, so if Phasma were to do that, it would be so stupid. Like they have everything to lose because the way the game, oh God. It's something fast. It's like a right shoe. What the fuck? 
I think it's a Hauntu. <laughs> but then what's the orb doing? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, it can't be a Hauntu. It's gotta be a Raichu, but what the fuck is going on? Is it the Mimic? Just when it walked in there, it went slow. This is a weird as hell. Um, but yeah, they can't just implement or 2.0. Like, they can't just do what the other games do. Because, oh, there it is, fingerprints. Okay, so it is a mimic. I was actually a Hantu then. Interesting. Holy shit, let's go. Um, I think that's what people don't realize. Like, they need to be so careful implementing, like, overarching changes like that. That, that changed the horror factor. Similar to how Google can't just, like, introduce AI to every grandma in the world. Uh, the Phasma reaches such a wide audience, like, they would they would destroy their replayability if they were to just do, like, every time you look in the mirror, the ghost does, wow, I'm in the mirror, I'm so spooky, or the mirror explodes. Like, it would be, it would be so old so fast, which I, at least for me, is already proven by something like Ghost Watchers and Demonologists. Like, I absolutely loved, adored my time with Demonologists, but I'm also kind of like, I'm waiting for new content for that game because the game in its current form is, like, a little repetitive because there's not too many maps. The ghost events are very predictable. You're basically, like... The, the puzzles in the map are super cool, but they're also like kind of a novelty, which is like that's the problem. Ryan Minister, thank you for the tank gift subs. That's the problem that we talked about with CJ and Psycho when we were playing Demonologist. That for a ghost hunting game currently to succeed, it needs to bring something new. And most of the time, the ghost hunting games that seem to be succeeding are bringing new things in the horror department. And because it is so hard to dynamically make like infinitely replayable flashy horror like great jump scares that are that don't just get old right away uh it's definitely over here most games like ghost watchers and demonologist just kind of like do this thing where they do ghost events that are very predictable but also very well animated which makes them stand out, people play them, people go like, oh my god, this is the best game ever made, and then after 100 hours, they're like, which is still a long time, maybe, I don't know, I think most people that are saying, oh, that are saying Demonologist is better than Phasmo in every way, don't even have 10 hours in it. Um, but like, this is just, and that's kind of like a curse on the ghost hunting genre right now, because... Because it is so required to be flashier than Phasmo. Because I think most of the Ghost Hunting games recently that have been succeeding have done like viral TikTok marketing. That's like, look at this crazy jump scare that we have in our game. And like that works very well because it's, 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 it's also for, from like a YouTuber perspective, like Ghost Watchers and Demonologists, they have so many crazy jump scares. Making thumbnails for that game is like, I can do it with my eyes closed. I just grab one of the jump scare images, smash it down, throw my face on there, and whoop, I got a thumbnail in two minutes because the game is so flashy. Making a thumbnail for Phasmo at this point take me, takes me way too long because, like, I've done everything, <laughs> and there is not that much to show because it's, like, a ultimately, like, not that flashy of a game. So yeah, it's it's like a problem with the ghost hunting genre right now that because you need to like viral TikTok market your game, you can't like you can't show off how great your gameplay is in a sh short 60 second viral TikTok. But you can show look how cool this ghost event is that we have programmed to happen in the same area every single time, every time you run past it. But that that that's not what you get from the TikTok. From the TikTok you get, oh my god, look at that one ghost event. But then, when you actually play the game and you get the same ghost event a hundred times in a row, like, it changes. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Where are you? Ah! Jesus Christ. Like, it, that's... 
a great showcase of like based like not only can it be different forms of the ghost but it can also be the distance to you the weird bugs that sometimes happen with the ghosts and how they interact with you like sometimes you'll get a ghost that literally spawns on top of you does what the fuck uh and does like a, a split second ghost event and then goes away like there's all kinds of weird interactions um and i think that's hey oh god fuck you as a baseline it's pretty solid horror um, and it's gonna take a while for them. Oh, come on. Fuck. I don't have a Hynix spot. To improve upon it. And to figure out a way that they can do it without making it repetitive. Um, okay. So, it's probably not a shade. Because it's ghost events and hunting at a time that I don't think a shade should be able to hunt. Yeah, so, TLDR, I think, currently... In the, the world of ghost hunting games, the wrong things are being rewarded with, like, game sales. I think the 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 flashier the game and the, least, the less replayable your game is, the more it gets rewarded right now. Like, replayability is not something that sells. Because, ultimately, when you're selling your game, it doesn't fucking matter if one person plays it for... Uh, it's not like a mobile game where with microtransaction having... Like, one person spend $10,000 is more important than having 10,000 people spend $1. Um, in games, once it's purchased, it's done. You're not making any more money off of that customer. Like, I have not paid Phasmo more than the $10 that I paid getting the game. And I played it fucking 2,257 hours. Like... I got my money's worth, <laughs> I guess you could say. So, for something, for other ghost hunting games, they just want to get, they want to appeal to as broad of an audience as possible, and it doesn't actually matter that each individual player plays the game a lot, That that's not important. So, I think the main thing why I love Phasmo so much is because it's so replayable, but right now, most of the ghost hunting games that are coming out don't have to be replayable at all. Like, it's all about being as flashy as possible, replayability, whatever, doesn't matter. Loco, loco, thank you for the five gift subs. That was the longest TLDR of all time. That wasn't really a TLDR. I kind of went on another tangent. Re replayability is not as important as being flashy, basically. That's the that's the problem I have with ghost hunting games nowadays. Hello? Can you give us a sign? You hear a scream in the distance? I have a. Are you getting here? I was just talking about how we never. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool, dude. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh. I like that. See, that is how I imagine Horror 2.0 will be in Phasmo having things that can have like you need to have so much restraint to make good horror like having things that can happen but don't always happen is super important um like something like the crucifix turning or some interaction with the mirror or something like that um that's how i hope it's gonna look like anyway we got emf we need to bring in stuff I dropped my flashlight. Probably a bad idea, but whatever. Does the ghost scan on right now? Um, and something like like Phasma is like, you can play it in VR. That's pretty unique. Not many other ghost hunting games you can play in VR. Um, it, it's like one of those like, I mean, uh. If you've been around Phasma for a while, you know, but fun fact, Phasma was originally a VR only game. It was, it was gonna be on, like, cause the reason why uh, DK made Phasma in the first place is because, I should bring salt as well though, is because there weren't any good, like, paranormal investigating, investigation VR games out there. So he was like, I wanna make a VR game. Cause I, um, CJ, Lavender and DK worked on in a 
game company together that specialized in VR. And I think DK left to make Phasmo and CJ and Lavender stick, stuck, stuck around to make another VR game. And that's why DK also was like, I mean, not only did he work with DK or with CJ and Lavender in the past, but he also, they also have experience with working with VR titles. Um, can you give me? Okay. I need to turn on the brake. Here? It's not here. That's a lot of cock. How did that get there? Oh, it was a hunt during the hunt? Oh god. Wait, Raichu? Raichu, for sure. Did you see how far away my... My equipment is blinking? Holy shit. Okay. Well, that's easy. Hit. I didn't even glitch through... Let's see if we can make it speed up through the floor. I don't think so. Like right above me, and it's not speeding up. Oh boy, it's gonna come down here. Oh god. Dude, the, the ghost heal strike like crazy. You can hear the fucking they they walk like ba doom ba doom ba doom. Isn't like like uh, aggressive heal striking really bad for your feet? I I get in such weird freaking rabbit holes on YouTube. Recently, I got this video recommended to me that was like, why bought why soulless shoes or like bare feet shoes are good for you or something and there was like a video about like a whole community of people that have like shoes that have like no soul in them so it's just like you're basically wearing like socks <laughs> but like with a little bit of support and apparently it's really good for your feet or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> And they were con he was like constantly using like lingo that I was like, dude, I've never heard someone talk about heel striking before. But that's where that's where you like put down your heel, boom. Because in in shoes you have like a huge heel that is like cushioning your your foot when you set it down. So you you ram down a lot of force on that on that cushion on your heel. But when you walk barefoot, you can't do that because it hurts your heel like crazy if you would do that. So it's like a whole different way of walking. But anyway, whatever. That was the Insanity Mega Challenge. We did every single map. Uh, we failed twice. Uh, one of which was a real fail, I would say. That was on Maple, right? That was a, a twin or a, a fake fake twin, a Moroi twin. And then the other one was just Impatience. Impatience killed the cat on Edgefield where I would have had to stuck around. That might be the case though. That might have been a really good learning experience. If it's true, I need to do more testing on that. But huge if true that the, um, also what the fuck is this? What are these lines, brother? What are these fucking CJ? You're not fooling anyone. I just realized that this makes no sense. What are these like pins with like the, the cords between them? What is this Edgefield thing? Why, <laughs> why is this line going over here and that one coming from there? Like, why not this one going here and this one going? This doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, yeah. So if if true that the Banshees don't do their abilities when you're on a different floor, that makes so much sense. That explains like why I've never actually found that trick so useful. But other people swear by it. So yeah, I might I might put that to the test next time. I I think I have a Banshee. But anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Insanity Mega Challenge. Let me know if you play on Insanity. What difficulty do you play on? Um, apparently, according to stats, by far the most people play on intermediate and uh, intermediate difficulty. A lot of people play on amateur. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you actually play any Insanity at all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.